Well, I was on Twitter one day in the summer looking for some educational resources, and I can't remember who tweeted it or where it came from, as is the nature of Twitter. Uh, I saw something go by about, hey, come fill out our survey. Uh, it might be a chance for you to win some tablets, but we'd love to know what educators need in terms of technology in the classroom. And since that had been something I was looking at previously, I jumped in, said why not, filled out the survey, and was lucky enough to be contacted a couple months later with the, with the tablets. Oh, well, there's been such a revolution in, in education in the past couple of years, just in terms of what the students can do with the technology, as well as just learning itself. So even accessing content is so much different than it was when I was in high school. I analyzed Heather's responses and I realized that not only had she thought through about the connectivity element in the classroom, she also thought through about how these implicate the students in terms of them moving forward and taking their learnings outside of the classroom. So blending the learning allows them to access more of those resources. They don't have to learn from me. They can learn from uh, an online video. They can learn from an expert in a field. But then the technology also allows them to create new things too. They're not just doing worksheets anymore. They're creating something bigger, something better, something more specialized. It's almost everything we've done has said something to do with technology. Or like my grandma with her like, I forget what it's called, but it's like, you just tap yeah, you tap and yeah. that thing scrolls. <laughs> typewriter, yeah. Typewriter, and she'd say like if she messed up, she'd have to restart again because they didn't have like erasers for it or like a backspace. We are a small school. We are the only publicly funded high school on Manitoulin Island, so we're everything to everybody, and we have to make sure that all of our students get what they need to carry on after here. I love being able to see what the students can come up with. Um, I love seeing them kind of direct their own learning, uh, and they've always come up with things that I would never even dreamt of. I will open up an assignment and say, well, show me how you know this. And I expect them to, you know, write a couple things down. But instead what they'll do is they'll, they'll create a video. They'll create an animation. They'll uh, go out and interview someone and they'll create their own web page. It's absolutely amazing what these kids can do. After driving seven hours to see our network in action, so to speak, to see it in the field, to see the actual end user or the large mass of users, that's what really drives our work home. That really tells me who I am impacting with the work that I do and the work that we do collaboratively at Orion. At Orion, we're always thinking about what's next. And that means uh, after leaving from here, uh, making some good friendships and staying connected with the teacher and uh, through social media with the students as well and uh, planning our next uh, exciting trip to wherever it is. It, it's almost like a little bit, of, I, can, I can relax a little bit now. I don't have to worry about, well, how are my students going to do this? And am I going to have enough people who can share their phones so they can access things? So it's, it is a little bit of a relief to just say, okay, now I know I can do this. Now I know the kids can do this too.